One of the most popular panel tests for looking at tumor DNA changes is the Foundation One CDX test. This is a Boston-based company, Foundation Medicine, that has one of the first FDA-approved tests that can be used to analyze approximately 400 different genes that are important for cancer. Looking at gene, DNA variations, looking at deletions, amplifications, extra copies of genes, as well as gene fusions that may have occurred uh, that could be therapeutically relevant. Now, getting a Foundation Medicine report and being able to interpret it and turn it into a therapy for your patient is not an obvious and trivial exercise. There is extra work that is needed, extra expertise that, that could be used to really uh, accomplish this goal. I wanna walk you briefly through the Foundation One CDX report to allow you to understand more quickly what is there and what is not there for the patient. So the report that we're showing here is a sample that one can obtain from the Foundation One CDX website. We're using this sample report because it allows us to avoid some of the issues that might be there in terms of patient identification, etc. Also, this is a report that you can download yourself and understand uh, in deeper detail as you need. So you can see the section on companion diagnostics. In this case, looking, it's showing the, the KRAS and NRAS uh, variations. You can see the other alterations in biomarker section, which includes microsatellite status and tumor mutational burden, in addition to specific mutations. In this example, the microsatellite status is MSI high, which would make the patient eligible for a PD-1 or PD-L1 inhibitor. The patient also had a tumor mutational burden of 35, much higher than the, the threshold of 10 mutations per megabase that we often use for making selection of a PD-1 or PD-L1 inhibitor. Towards the back of the report, in the first page of the appendix, one can see the variants of uncertain significance. These variants are shown here by the gene name and by the specific type of mutation, including the location in the genome that it is found. Some of these variants are in gene names that you recognize, and it may be appealing to try to use that information to select a therapy. However, one can do informatic analyses to understand, is this a variant of almost known significance, whereby one could use the information to choose therapy? Or is this just a benign variant that is found in a gene that has a familiar name, for which you would then not use that information to choose treatment. Looking at the clinical trials page, one can see a number of different trials, most that will still be open, but for which the eligibility criteria will be important as one decides if it is a good option for your individual patient. 